Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Manley and I want to talk today about the differences between an instant pot and a slow cooker. I actually have both of these, but I often reach more for my Instapot and let me tell you why. Um, first off, let me say the slow cooker, I love this, I use this all the time. Um, often I might like bring chili to work in it or different things like that. So this works really, really well. Um, these are inexpensive and this one stays warm and it has some nice uh, locking handles on it so it'll stay, the little stay secure whenever it's traveling. So these are really, really nice. Um, again, these are inexpensive. They run under a hundred and, they run under a hundred dollars. Probably, this one's probably about $65, maybe a little bit less. I'll put a link down below with the exact price because I don't recall what the price on this was. And here is my Instapot. Now I love this Instapot. I do many, many things in it. This is my new one. Um, I have an older one. This one features, it is now also does yogurt, so you can make yogurt in it. So what makes this pot special? You can pressure cook in this. You can use this as a slow cooker. You can saute in it. And if you're me, you can make rice in it because I cannot cook rice in a pot to save my life. It comes out all over the stove and burnt every single time. Um, and this also does, like I said, it's a yogurt maker. So another reason why I really like this Instapot is it's a nice locking lid. So if you want to travel with it, you can. It's not going to come loose. I had an unfortunate incident many years ago where I brought a whole slow cooker of queso and it fell in the trunk of my car. It tumped over despite being fairly well secured. It was a mess. So I only want to buy slow cookers with lids that lock nowadays. Um, this lid comes off. This has a nice stainless steel insert. Why I like this is because you can always scrub this nice and clean and it's always going to look wonderfully shiny. All right, and a couple more things you can do with this. You can make steel cut oats, you can make porridge in it, you could make kung ji in it, and um, you know what, the possibilities with this are just practically endless. So let's talk about price point in these. These do run a little bit higher. They have several different models. This is their larger one. I wanted this one so I could cook a whole roast in here. Um, I've done beef short ribs in here, and you guys have probably seen other recipes here on YouTube that I've already done. I'll link down below to recipes using the Instapot. And let's see, so the price point again runs between about $99 to $250. The higher end model, I believe, features um, the ability to cook wirelessly with your phone, with a phone app. I didn't get that because um, you know what, if I'm at work and the stuff is sitting at room temperature for hours and then I turn the pot on, it may not be a great idea for me personally because I leave early in the morning and I come home late at night. So not my best idea, but definitely a great feature. So again, I personally love my Instapot. I also really enjoy my slow cooker. There is a pretty big difference in price. One does a whole lot more. But if you are wanting to get like a pressure cooker, maybe a yogurt maker, and maybe a steamer, this would be your better option. So if you wanna see other products reviewed here on YouTube, drop me a comment down below of what you'd like to see me to talk about. Thanks for watching.